Welcome to Fishing with Steve D and due to popular demand we are doing uh, the best red claw crayfish baits number two video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let's have a look at some red claw action right now. This is great exercise, guys. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. There's some rippers in that one. Okay, so we've got the one pipe. It's got a good one in there. A lot of people ask me how you do it. So we've got our cable ties as well as the clips. So we take the clips off. Now, I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can see. And then we've got cable ties here, guys. We just cut the cable ties off. And I'll try to get away with one, but I'm gonna have to do another one. So it opens, make sure it's the right cable tie, because and then that'll open it up just enough. Sometimes you gotta do three, but that'll be just enough to tip the red claw straight in the esky. Let's put it down there. That's a pretty good start, guys. That's a pretty good start. Nice and uh, good size. Okay, sorry, Ray. I'll get this sorted out. So now we're just going to unclip these stainless steel from the uh, gear shift gear cables. Brake cables, empties go in there. Brand new one, ready to go with the cables, uh, with the um, stainless steel on it. Goes inside the bait, clips it to the cable tie, done. Right, clips go over. And then we take a cable tie and we'll try, because this clip's broken on there, so we'll try to put the one cable tie in and cable tie them up. There's one there. Gonna need, a, gonna need a second one because uh, there's a bit of a, if they can open that, they'll get out the blighters, especially the big fellas. So, we just put a second cable tied about halfway. Around. Okay, pull that tight. Now they can't get out, and that's good. So that's ready to rock and roll. Grab my float, and away we go. Simple as that. Okay guys, here are the uh, there are 70 centimeter round collapsible pots uh, catching up to 50 plus at a time. Two of these pots about fish 16 red claw opera house traps. That is a huge statement guys and they will catch you a lot more and they will last you for ages. They will uh, last you a long long time. Um, okay over there is the, the new pyramid pots. Uh, which uh, are now a new release and the idea is they walk up there, they fall in, they can't get out. Okay, let's have a look at some of these um, 
more baits that people can use because I've been asked a lot about this. So let's have a look. First one is block of cheese. Good old cheese. There's a couple of ways you can rig these. You can put a hole through the middle, put a cable tie through it, or just uh, cut it up into bits, put it in your bait containers. Okay. Another good bait, which I hear a lot of anglers doing really well for on the red claw crayfish um, in Queensland is the avocado. Good old avocado, cut it up, uh, scoop out the flesh and put it in your bait containers. Okay. Uh, another good bait for red claw fishing is the cabbage or lettuce because the uh, red claw are vegetarians uh, although I will say that they will they also love meat I've seen them devour catfish down to the skeleton so they like meat they are scavengers as well okay good old mangoes tin of mangoes or get the mangoes off the tree whatever you prefer this one costs about a dollar in the shops and they got a whole stack of uh, sliced mango bits. Uh, mango is very, very good for red claw crayfish in Queensland. Okay, and another tip here, I've got some lucerne. So good old lucerne, um, I hear this is very, very, very productive, very, very good for the red claw crayfish. Okay, so another tip of the day is um, no, I'm not going to eat this, I'm not going to uh, have lunch with it, but I'm just going to show you the sort of bottles that when they're, when they're empty, this is just some mayonnaise, uh, once, once it's empty, wash it all out, take the lid off, put your dog biscuits or your cheese or your food, whatever, you, whatever bait you choose, put holes in it, and then um, put a couple of holes near the bottom here and cable tie it in. So that's how easy it is to make a bait container. So I hope that's handy for you. So let's just go through this again. Cheese, avocado, lettuce or cabbage, um, slice, uh, mango or mangoes off a tree, and loosen, good old loosen. Now guys, these pots, like I said, if you want any of these pots, let us know, I'll be able to do a deal um, and put you in touch with the right people. 70 centimeter round collapsible pots are doing so, so well at the moment. Like I said, um, two of these outfish 16 red claw upper house traps. That's a big, big statement, guys. So if one of those, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you found this um, video to be very interesting. And please smash that like button. Please smash that subscribe button, guys. I really need your help right now. Here we Here have the good old dog biscuits. Uh, dog biscuits are really good uh, because they stay uh, up to five days, three to five days. So just get your dog biscuits. Uh, the round uh, donut ones are the better ones. And you buy them in the shops, pretty cheap in the supermarket, guys. And they last up to three to five days. Whereas vegetable uh, content on bait will only last two days. So that's okay if you're doing a weekender, but if you want to come back in five, three to four, five days, you need the dog biscuits. We highly recommend the dog biscuits um, are the way to go. And then these, you buy them in the shops really cheap. Red Claw are indigenous to far north Queensland around the tip of Weeper, extending into the Gulf of Carpentaria, into the Northern Territory. They, had, they were introduced to South East Queensland through aqua farms. Red Claw now have spread and are feral in many lakes and rivers in Queensland and have been declared a noxious species only in Queensland. Red claw grow extremely quick, reaching 300 grams and around 26 centimeters in only a couple of years. Red claw live to two to five years. Why do red claw have one large claw? Well, the males will use this large claw as weapons to fight off females or fight for females, fight for food, or borrows. The biggest claw will usually win. Well, I hope you really liked that video, guys. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I really need your support and help right now. If you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button right now. I need to take this channel to the next level and to do this full time and to bring you more informative videos on fishing. And uh, I just want to have give you a look at how flat this uh, red claw trap is. I'll just swing you around and give you a look. 
this is how flat it, it, it collapses down to. Really, really flat. Now you can stack four, six of them and they'll hardly take up any room at all. And it's got a really good opening here. The struts are really, really strong. And uh, they've got the uh, 10 centimeter uh, rings, which um, you can have in the or the lakes and impoundments. Um, however, if you're going to do it in rivers, you've got to have the smaller entrances. So we would need to give you the uh, different pots for that. So if you want any of those, let me know. So guys, please subscribe and like this video. Until next time, God bless.